Hello, Hollywood. Welcome to this morning's Walk of Fame ceremony. A special shout out to the fans who are watching our live video stream courtesy of our media partner, Variety. I'm Laron Gubler, President and CEO of the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce, which is presenting today's program. Today we are presenting a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame to the great John Goodman. And he will receive the 2,604th star on our illustrious walk. Let me tell you a little bit about him. And he's got a, a resume that is so impressive, I can only recite a few things. But let me tell you just those few. Now, John went to, the, to Southwest Missouri State University. And he went there to play football, but an injury Left him to, led him to switch his major to drama. He never returned to football and graduated with a degree in theater. He remembers the day in 1975 when he left his native St. Louis for New York, armed only with a degree from SMSU, $1,000 borrowed from his brother, and a dream of becoming a professional actor. He did not want to look back later and say, I wonder if I could have, so he made the rounds, worked at odd jobs, and just tried to keep busy. And boy, has he been busy ever since. Now John's next film is the Warner Brothers release, Kong Skull Island. <laughs> opening, opening in theaters today. And in fact, we've got Kong right here, overlooking this ceremony. Now his upcoming films include the thriller, Atomic Blonde, and you can cheer for all of these, of course. Atomic Blonde, and lending his voice to Luke Besson's sci-fi adventure Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. His recent films include Patriot's Day, the hit sci-fi thriller Tin Cloverfield Lane, and Jay Roach's biographical drama Trumbo. In 2013, John starred in Argo. And of course, as we all know, that won the Academy Award for Best Picture. And he was also in the Robert Zemeckis thriller, Flight. Now in 2013, he won the National Board of Review Spotlight Award for his work in Argo, Flight, and Trouble with the Curve. He was also seen in The Artist, which won the 2012 Academy Award for Best Picture. Now among John's many accolades are a Golden Globe Award for Best Actor and seven, seven Emmy nominations for his role in Roseanne. And by the way, his star is just a few feet away from that of his TV wife, Roseanne, which is actually over in the press area. The press is sitting on it. He also earned Emmy nominations for his starring role in TNT's Kingfish, a story of Huey P. Long, and in the CBS production of Tennessee Williams, A Streetcar Named Desire. In 2007, John won his second Emmy for Outstanding Guest Actor on Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip. His other TV credits include Amazon's original series, Alpha House, Starz miniseries, Dancing on the Edge, DirecTV's Damages, and NBC's Community. HBO's biopic of Jack Kevorkian, You Don't Know Jack, reunited ja John with Al Pacino and Susan Sarandon. He won an Emmy nomination for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Miniseries or a Movie and a SAG nomination for Outstanding Performance by a Male Actor in a Television Movie or Miniseries. Now his previous film credits, there it's an amazing, uh, resume of movies. I'm only going to recite a few. Cheer for the ones that are your favorites. They include Barton Fink, Transformers Age of Extinction, the remake of 1974's The Gambler, Confessions of a Shopaholic, B-Movie, Beyond the Sea, Storytelling, Oh Brother Where Art Thou, Coyote Ugly, Fallen, The Borrowers, 
Blues Brothers 2000, The Flintstones, Arachnophobia, Babe, Sea of Love, Stella, Revenge of the Nerds, The Big Easy, Raising Arizona, and The Big Lebowski. All right. Well, we can tell definitely which ones are your favorites. He has lent his voice to many animated movies, including Monsters, Inc., Monsters University, The Emperor's New Groove, Tales of the Rat Fink, and The Jungle Book 2. He also voiced the main character in NBC's animated series, Father of the Pride. John, John is involved in many charities, including Children's Hospital of New Orleans, St. You can clap for those. St. Louis Children's Hospital, the Katrina Relief Fund, La Jolla Playhouse, and more. And I could go on and on, but uh, I think it's time to bring him to the stage. Please welcome to the stage our honoree, John Goodman. All right, now before you get to hear from John, we have a few uh, special guests who've asked to say a few words. Our first speaker today won an Oscar, Golden Globe, Screen Actors Guild, BAFTA, Critics' Choice, National Board of Review, and Independent Spirit Award, all of those last year. Now that was in the, in the category of Best Actress, for, she, for her, they were won for her performance as Ma in the film Room. She currently stars in Kong Skull Island with our honoree. And she will next be seen in the Martin Scorsese executive produced 70s crime thriller Free Fall, Free Fire, not Free Fall, Free Fire, which will be released in theaters in April, as well as in The Glass Castle based on the best selling memoir by Jeanette Walls, Unicorn Store, marking her first feature directorial debut in which she also stars, as well as Marvel's first female-led superhero film, Captain Marvel. Please welcome Brie Larson to the stage. Oh, wow. Hello. That was quite the introduction. I don't feel like I should be standing here with that introduction. I'm here to say a few words about my friend John. John is someone that we had done one in a, a couple weeks on a film without having ever spoken to each other because we were never in speaking scenes together. And we went from that to being in three countries. We were in Hawaii, we were in Australia, we were in Vietnam, in every type of weather. And he became my partner in crime. <laughs> We went on roller coasters together. He sat right next to me, was able to go toe to toe. We went searching around in Vietnam for clothes and to try and find a shirt that would fit him. We tried all the local flavors. He has become a father figure to me in his, in his way of supporting and caring, not just for me, but for everyone that is around him. He is an incredible father. He's an incredible husband, from what I can tell. I think that's right. And he is a lover of humanity, which is, I think, such an incredible quality to have. That is why we are honoring him today, is because he is an artist. And to be an artist, it means to love with all of your heart and to give yourself over to everything, to fight hard for humanity, for what is right, for what is true. And that is what he does every single day with every role that he plays. He brings truth and honesty into this world. So just like him, I wanted to be an actor and it was really hard. I had to walk all over the world to try and find a job, to try and find somebody who would hire me. And my hope is, now that we are honoring him, that he is now ingrained in the veins of Los Angeles. He is on the roads that other actors, that other dreamers will walk down, will drive down, and they will see this. And my hope is, if for some reason, all of the information that's in the internet gets deleted and we never see any of his films again, 
he will be here still. He will be embedded in the ground, and I'm so grateful <laughs> that he is here forever because he's actually the best. I love you, John. You deserve this. I hope I embarrassed you enough. <laughs> okay, that's all. Thank you, Bree. Let me acknowledge a couple of people who are here with us. Uh, the chair of the board of the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce, Dr. Fariba Kalantari back here. And we also have with us the chair of the Walk of Fame Committee, who is also a Walk of Famer, Mr. Vin DeBona. Now, one of Hollywood's most successful actors and a seven-time Academy Award nominee, our next speaker's performance in Crazy Heart as Bad Blake deservedly garnered this iconic performer his first Oscar for best performance by an actor in a leading role. The performance also earned him the Golden Globe, SAG Award, and the IFP Spirit Award for Lead Actor. His films include The Last Picture Show, The Contender, Starman, Thunderbolt and Lightfoot, True Grit, Hell or High Water, and Crazy Heart, as well as many others. He is a Walk of Famer, and his star is next to the stars of his father, Lloyd, and his brother, Bo Bridges, just down the street. Please welcome Jeff Bridges, who starred with John on The Big Lebowski. Walter, um, John, is, um, well, he's a, a good actor, he's a good man, John Goodman, yeah. Um, he, uh, he's one of us. He, um, he loves the outdoors and acting. Um, as a showman, he has explored the stages from Los Angeles to New York. We're talking Broadway here, man. Uh, he's done some weird little movies, too. Uh, and he's lived, like so many men in prior generations have lived their lives, he is a man of his times. He's a man of our times. And he has become a legend. In your wisdom, Lord, you have lived through John as you have through so many other bright, flowering young actors before him. I'm talking about men like Clark Gable, Gabby Hayes. Roy Rogers to keep in the whole Western thing, uh, Groucho Marx, Jimmy Cagney, we could go on and on, but you get the idea. These men have lived for what they loved, and so have you, Walter. You have lived for acting that you have loved so well, and so, Walter Sobchak, John Goodman, in accordance with what we think may be your final wishes, we have committed to these sidewalks in Hollywood, in the bosom of Hollywood that you love so well, a star. A star for you, a star because we love you so well. 
what time is it? Late enough. Afternoon? Yeah. Good afternoon, my sweet prince. Thank you, Jeff Bridges. Let me acknowledge a few other actors who are here today uh, to support John. Uh, so please acknowledge actor Tom Hiddleston, who is in Kong Skull Island with him. Actor Emil Hirsch, who is with him in Speed Racer. And actor Dan Flork, who worked with him on Broadway. Thank you for being with us today. Uh, this time, it's a pleasure for me to introduce the councilman who represents this portion of Hollywood and the Walk of Fame. Uh, he's been with us now almost four years, and this past Tuesday was overwhelmingly re-elected to another term on the Los Angeles City Council. And we're thrilled. So please welcome the Honorable Mitch O'Farrell. Thank you so much, Laron. Welcome to Hollywood and the celebration of John Goodman. I am so proud and honored to work with the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce because they are able to help us celebrate Hollywood's history, to celebrate its culture, and to celebrate its future right here on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. The work the Chamber does helps us continue to nurture those shared dreams and inspire the future great artists and storytellers who may be among us. With that, I congratulate a true master of the craft of acting, John Goodman. John Goodman has been a fixture in our popular culture for decades. Your Midwestern charm, your warm spirit, your unmatched versatility, have made us roar with laughter and have brought us to tears. Your characters have brought joy to the generations of people across the world. For these reasons, you are truly deserving of this star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. The full city council and the mayor of Los Angeles wish you a hearty congratulations for this achievement and for providing a place for your legions of fans across the world to come and enjoy and celebrate who you are and what you've accomplished. Congratulations, John Goodman. Thank you, Council Member O'Farrell. Well, John, it's time, uh, time for you to say a few words, but let me just say by way of final introduction, <laughs> they can be few or long. Anyway, uh, you know, our past honorary mayor of Hollywood, Johnny Grant, was a big fan of yours. So let me just say in his memory, we hereby declare this John Goodman Day in Hollywood. Thank you. Thanks for coming. I'll try to get us out of here quickly. Uh, I'd like to thank... The members of the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce, uh, it's intriguing that I can feel a part of uh, Hollywood history now. This, it's uh, something I never expected. It's amazing. Uh, Jeff Bridges, thanks for walking down here from Santa Barbara. <laughs> My old bowling buddy, El Duderino, one of the greatest actors I've ever had the privilege to work with. It's truly amazing that you came here today, man. Thank you. I will always steal from you. Tom, thanks for showing up today. Thank you. Uh, the great Brie Larson. Um, wow, what a future. What an amazing career she's had so far. And it's just starting. And Brie, uh, is cash cool for this? That's the way I'd prefer to do it. It's near tax time. I got some Flintstones crap you could put on eBay. I'd prefer to handle it that way. 
Anyway, thank you, Bree. Um, I love you, and you are truly amazing and an inspiration, and I hope to God we get to work together again soon. Thanks. Um, I just uh, want to wrap this up. I, it, it's, it's incredible. I'd like to thank Legendary Pictures, the, uh, Warner Brothers, uh, for casting me in this film and putting it out, and uh, they're responsible for this. Um, my agency, the Gersh Agency, Bob Gersh, Daisy Wu are here today. Thank you very much for everything you put up with a lot over the years. Uh, Abe Altman, my accountant. Uh, I would be remiss if I didn't mention the uh, this week, especially the women, without whom I would not be here. Uh, a mother who had to scrape by on survival wages to raise two kids by herself. Uh, the many teachers tried to knock some sense into me. Some of it worked. My drama teacher, Judy Rethwich in high school, uh, the women and many women I've worked with in college, uh, and um, the crafts people, the writers, teamsters, makeup artists, artists in general, who make up the backbone of this business, thank you very much. Um, Roseanne, thank you. I don't think I'd be up here if it wasn't for her. Uh, she really took a lot of heat, but uh, she was always right, and I love her. And my daughter, Molly, who always puts a smile on my face when I need it most, and then the love of my life, Annabeth, who for a long time put up with more than a, a, a person should have to or need to, and uh, we came out on top. Thanks, honey. I love you. Thank you very much. Well, let's unveil the star, and we'd ask all of our speakers to join us in doing that. Thank you.
Stan, you have the right to be in this picture. Stan, take the shades off, Stan. <laughs>